Am I in there? I'm in there. Xbox One policy reversal. This is major news in case you guys have not heard this on many websites, on TV, or even on uh, the internet, on YouTube. Xbox One is reversing their policy on their newly announced policy on their Xbox One. And what happened before was if you had a used game, they would charge you for the content. And if you wanted to play online or offline, you couldn't because it was basically always online, which indicates that the system always has to be online in order to function. Now what they have done, and also the Xbox One was region locked, but now what they have done is they have foregoed or, or done away with all those policies that they had before in place. So the used game policy, trashed. The uh, always online capability, trashed. And the region locked is trashed. It's thrown out the window. So you're basically, essentially you're getting a Xbox One that can possibly compete with the PlayStation 4. So that kind of brings me into my next question. Do you think this is enough for the Xbox One to remain uh, a top-selling uh, gaming console? Now, here's the thing. I have called into many GameStops, and I have asked, well, how has this impacted the pre-order sales? And they said that it has impacted tremendously. Um, a lot of the GameStops have actually sold out of their pre-orders for the Xbox One. And you have to go to some other uh, GameStops locations and stuff like that. So that's major news. And I think this was definitely a right move for Microsoft. And it just goes to show that if fans band together to create change or some type of, uh, you know, uh, movement in the gaming culture, we can do it. it. It's possible. It's possible. And... Not one of us can do it, but a good majority of us can do it. And many fans were upset, just like I was. I made a video about this rant segment and stuff like that. And um, and I gave my thoughts on it. And I think that if Microsoft would have not done this, they would have see seen sales decline on their systems. I mean, it would have sold. No, That's a fact. But it wouldn't have sold as much as the PlayStation 4. Now that it's, uh, you know, they, they've done away with some of these policies, you can see that it's definitely a narrow... Um, it's definitely a narrow percentage of what you, you want to get, basically. It really comes down to, do you want to pay $100 for a Kinect, or do you not want to pay $100 and just get uh, PlayStation 4 and get, you know, cool features and features as well. So it just comes down to that. Me, personally, I'm still probably going to go with the PlayStation 4 as of now, and then later on down the line, I'm going to go with the uh, Xbox One, because I still want to see, is this just a quick change just to get sales, and they may be may incorporate those policies later or is this legit and they're just doing away with it forever i think i think they're probably just going to do away with it forever i mean because what they were doing that for was to control piracy but i guess since they got such negative backlash they said you know what forget it we cannot afford this and we are going to go ahead and um scrap the whole idea now here's the thing I do want to see more games, you know, uh, more games for it. Now, Dead Rising was cool, you know, uh, you know, Ghost, uh, Call of Duty was cool, you know, and that other game where that shit ran to the bridge was cool. You know, those games were cool, but I want to see other games. I want to see other games. That's what intrigues me. I am a gamer. I am not a person that sits around and just flips channels and sees how I can move it with my hand. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not going for it. I want to see games. Games, 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 games. That's what attracts us as the generation, the 89s and the 90 babies. That's what, that's what captures us are games. Games for the fans. You know, Dead Rising 3 was cool. You incorporate a lot of different stuff. You can drive a car into zombies. Zombies can try to take you out the car. It's cool. But that's not something that's going to sell us, Microsoft. You got to do something different. Now, you show us the software. You did throw away all these policies. You're doing everything right now. You know, you going ahead and knocking it out the park. We got to see some different things. We got to see some different things. And if you do this for us, and if you show us more games, because the software is cool. We saw that. You guys are definitely excelling in the software category. You know, you're beating, you're beating PlayStation with that. But the software, you're killing PlayStation. You know, but and the gestures and the, the new gestures you got, but where PlayStation is always killing you guys, except for the 360, is the games. They have shown more games and more games that interest me. 
Halo 5 is not going to do it. I mean, I like Halo 5. Halo 5 is cool. I play Halo 4. Halo 4 is awesome. But I want some new games. Different. I don't want any multi-platform games. No more multi-platform games because they can come for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I don't want to see that. I want to see us exclusive games, some exclusive games from Microsoft that's going to make me round and buy. Not even Gears of War. Gears of War is cool. You know, but I, you know, I'm getting tired of that too. I mean, what was the last one? Judgment Day. I mean, how did that sell? <laughs> you know, what was the sales on that? So, good move by Microsoft. Wonderful job to get rid of the uh, on, on, always online, the uh, the region locked, and the uh, other capability you had, which is escaping my mind right now. But you did a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Clap it up. Good job, Microsoft. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be successful. I think they're going to receive a lot of sales, and it now can it can now compete with the PlayStation 4, and it will probably increase the sales, and the sales may be more narrow, just like I said. So let's see what happens, guys. Leave your comments down below on what you thought. Is this a good move at Microsoft? Is it not? Or are they just doing it just to please the fans, which they probably are, but the fans are what controls the corporations in a sense. So with uh, with that being said, because of money, with that being said, guys, I'll check you guys later in another video. Peace. Turn out to stay gold. Love you guys. See ya.